to have my collection. You can see the sun's just setting on the top of that mountain over there. That's one of the favorite, the favorites of Snowdonia, Trefan. I've climbed it once, it's super fun. You can see you can't, it's just boulders. So you have to scramble. You have to scramble to get to the top, which makes it fun. I'm in Snowdonia Wells and I had this passion anyway, but uh, this is another reason why I was drawn to the Explorer. Just exploring, hiking, uh, going to different mountains. Confession, I've not been on a mountain outside of the UK, but I have done the biggest in the UK, which is in Scotland, Ben Nevis, although I think that is probably the worst. If you've done Ben Nevis, let me know. Let me know how grueling and long that slog is to the top in that weird zigzag rocks boulders not even rocks boulders uh yeah it's terrible well i'm gonna do some wild camping tonight get to a place where i can pitch the tent and get a nice view of the sunrise in the morning um oh yeah look at this uh, this wasn't planned at all. I've literally just come up over the ledge and that's what I can see. That's what I want to see more of. So I'm going to get a bit higher. The weather is perfect today to go um, higher than you normally would. Um, I've checked the forecast. Everything is just looking perfect for a perfect wild camp with sunrise in the morning. With this watch as well, joining me along the way. So let me crack on because I don't think you can tell how steep this is. <sighs> yeah, let me crack on. Just in time before the sun setting down completely, pitched, posted. Got the essentials needed. And one of these rocks, I don't know which one yet is where. We'll finish this vid until the morning. Where yeah, hopefully I'll catch a nice sunrise. Explorer on the NATO strap in Snowdonia.
on the descent. Now it's way easier than going up. But when carrying a bag, I guess the thing to think about is the weight, the extra weight that you've got. So when you're stepping down, you can't commit because it's like a lot of weight slamming down on whatever spot you've chosen. Big mosquito. So that's a sign that you've got to be careful about. Nonetheless, the view is still 10 out of 10. And still running plus zero, minus zero. Got mosquito there. Photo bombing. And I'm gonna go towards Devil's Kitchen to check it out. I'm not doing it, but checking it out because I've heard so much about it. Yeah, something different. It was always gonna happen, but now it's happened. Wild camp, I guess that's what it's for, exploring. One, two, four, two, seven, oh. People always say you've got a dive watch, you don't dive. I got a dive watch. I don't dive all the time, but yeah. Actually, I don't even dive all the time. I've only been once. And I'm definitely not qualified. But I've got an explorer and I am exploring. Let me concentrate on the way down. And I'll probably film again once I get to Devil's Kitchen, which is in that crack over there. Oh, cool. We're back down at 382, above sea level. Quite a few people, some people camped. Quite a few people at the lake already. Just come from up there with the view. Well, we can't see the lake that's over there now from this height, but over there. And I think it is still, it's hot right now. Not sure of, of the actual, uh, my watch is saying 18 degrees, but it feels a lot more. Maybe because it's direct sun, I think it's going to be a morning dip, morning swim. Let's see. Get a cheeky watch in. Looking prominent, looking strong on the NATO. Love it. Just leaving the lake now on the final descent back down. Um, little update, camping was peaceful. The wind blew a few times. Uh, that made me think, oh, <laughs> but no, it's been great. The random stop off has been great. Um, and this is a nice, easy walk back down to the car. So I'm gonna stop the video here. I hope you don't like it, something different. You still got to see the watch in full effect. And the views from Snowdonia. Thank you.